So this is my audience. Harrison's back there. We're gonna get started. On February 7th, 2016, in Santa Clara, California, Super Bowl 50 was taking place and the Carolina Panthers were playing against the Denver Broncos. They were uh, trying to win their first Lombardi Trophy in Super Bowl history, or franchise history, and uh, they, they came up short and lo eventually lost the Super Bowl. Um, even with the Super Bowl loss, hopes were still high in Carolina. Many people thought that uh, uh, this would be a team that would be in the Super Bowl for many years to come, and that's according to a CBS Sports article by Ryan Wilson on February 7, 2016. Um, but then, uh, about two months later, the whole Josh Norman situation took place, which uh, Norman is a, a, our best corner on our team, or was last year, and he's one of the top corners in the league. Um, and we offered him a franchise tag to prevent him from becoming an unrestricted free agent, and he uh, refused to sign it because he was seeking a long-term deal. Um, and uh, now, when he refused to sign it, they decided to pull back the franchise tags, making him an unrestricted free agent, and he signed a uh, five-year, $75 million deal with the Washington Redskins, um, according to an article by ESPN on April 25th, 2016. And you may be asking yourself, are Panthers still contenders for the Super Bowl without Norman? I would say yes, and I've, uh, I've been a Panther fan my whole life, thanks to my dad. I've got to go to you know some of the games at Bank of America Stadium and uh, have, try to watch every game when I can, and I pay as much attention to them in the off season as I do during the season. Um, and this this uh, this speech is relevant to you guys because you live in the Charlotte area, so you're surrounded by Panther fans. You might be Panther fans yourselves. Um, so if someone tries to bring up this topic up, that this speech will uh, equip you to be able to discuss that topic with them. And uh, the combination of current players on the Panthers roster, their coaching staff, offseason free agency moves, draft picks, and their defensive scheme easily make Carolina Panthers Super Bowl contenders even with the loss of Josh Norman. Let's take a look at the reasons why Panthers will be in Super Bowl 51. The Panthers still have their main players, perfect mix of uh, young superstars and wise veterans that will have Panther fans saying, Josh who? The, if you look at the Panthers roster, it is just loaded with talent. Um, if we take a look at the offense, you got Cam Newton, at quarterback, reigning MVP of the league, Greg Olson, who uh, is a reliable uh, tight end with, with hands for days, he can catch anything. Um, and you got Jonathan Stewart at running back, he's a dangerous running back when he's healthy, and uh, Mike Tolbert, a huge fullback, and Kelvin Benjamin coming back this year uh, from a knee injury that made him unable to play last season. Um, and the Panthers managed to lead the NFL in points per game and were second in rushing yards per game last season according to the statistics on Panthers website for the 2015-2016 season. <clears throat> And these stats were achieved with uh, many people doubting our, our wide receiver core that the Panthers had. Uh, they said we didn't have a clear go-to when Kelvin went down and they, everybody was worried about it, but Greg Olson, Ted Ginn, and uh, Devin Funches in his rookie season really stepped up and uh, they, they made people believe in our, our wide receivers. Now let's talk about the defensive players. Luke Keekley, uh, one of the best linebackers in the NFL. He's also the quarterback of, of the defense. Thomas Davis, who's, who's spent his whole career in, uh, in Carolina. He's also a linebacker. Kirk Coleman, who uh, had a career high six interceptions last season. And then Kawan Short and Star Latule, uh, defensive tackles on the inside that can uh, stuff the run and also rush the passer. And the Panthers, uh, these players on the defensive side of the ball led the Panthers to a fourth overall ranking in total defense in the NFL. And they also have two cornerbacks who were injured during the playoffs that will be coming back this season um, in Charles Tillman and Benay Ben Wickery that will help replace uh, Norman since he decided to leave. And uh, last season the Panthers were also ninth overall in passing yards allowed per game. And uh, 
that being said, if Norman was the only good corner on this team or the only good defensive back, they wouldn't have had that high of a ranking because teams could have just passed to the other side of the field and had success. And uh, the Panthers' defense is also built around the front seven. Uh, and according to an article on the Panthers' website on December 22, 2015, three of the four defensive players named to the Pro Bowl were part of the front seven. And the Pro Bowl uh, is viewed as the best players in the league for that year. And the front seven does not include Josh Norman. Um, this upcoming season, the offense should be better than it was last year. Uh, the front seven on defense should definitely make it easier to transition without Josh Norman. Um, current players on the Panthers roster give Carolina a solid team, but they also made uh, some solid offseason moves to, to help improve the team more. Uh, they filled needs through the through free agency and also through the draft. Uh, they really focused on, on adding depth. According to the transactions list on the Panthers website, the Panthers signed safety Trenton Robinson, defensive tackle Paul Salahi, center Gino Gregkowski, punter Swayze Waters, punter Michael Pilardi, and cornerback Lou Young to add depth. Uh, Brandon Boykin was also signed to help replace Josh Norman. And if we look at the stats up here, they are very similar, so it should be an easy transition with these guys. Uh, tackles are very similar, interceptions, forced fumbles, uh, all the things you look for in a cornerback, both of them have. And the Panthers also uh, offered extensions for, for players like Mike Tolbert, uh, fullback, uh, J.J. Jansen, the long snapper, quarterback Joe Webb to uh, try and keep those guys around for successful teams in the future. And they also re-signed uh, defensive end Charles Johnson and defensive tackle Kyle Love to bring back some key pieces. According to an article in the Charlotte Observer by Joseph Person on April 8, 28, 2016, the Panthers drafted defensive tackle Vernon Butler out of Louisiana Tech University with the 30th pick in the NFL draft. Butler is 6'4", 323 pounds, a massive athlete that's really going to add to the depth of uh, our, the Panthers' defensive line. The Panthers' offensive offseason moves in previous years have uh, really led to, to success, and I think the same thing will happen this year. And you might be asking yourselves why I'm so sure of that, and the answer to that would be the coaching staff. Uh, it's led by Ron Rivera, who was voted Coach of the Year in the NFL last year, and it also includes two coordinators who are masterminds on their respective side of the ball. Uh, the teams, a lot of the team's success needs to be contributed to the coaching staff um, for the schemes they have in place. And let's uh, start with talking about head coach Ron Rivera. He's one of the, he's established himself as one of the best coaches in the NFL and he's a defensive-minded coach that was a member of the 1985 uh, Chicago Bears that won a Super Bowl. He was a linebacker on that team, and he really tries to uh, mold this young Panthers team to be like that Bears team. According to an SB Nation article by Danny Kelly on November 8, 2013, defensive coordinator Sean McDermott has uh, had a top 10 defense in the NFL since 2013 with and without Josh Norman. The scheme he runs, uh, Worked in 2016, 2013, when Norman was barely playing for, for these reasons. They stopped the run with their front seven and rushed the passer with their front four, which is why Vernon Butler was a great pick in the draft. Uh, they put their best players in position to make plays. And that's referring to Luke Keekley, not Josh Norman. Um, they play a bend but don't break defense, which means that they make it easier on their defensive backs by uh, playing zone defenses that keep everything in front of them. Um, and they use well-timed blitzes to make game-changing plays. Now let's take a look at the offensive side of the ball. Offensive coordinator Mike Shuler runs multiple offenses. He can run a pro offense and run the ball down the middle and wear you out that way, or he can spread it out and beat the defense over the top with the passing game. Um, with geniuses leading the team, as far as the coaching staff goes, one player leaving isn't gonna change the overall success of the team. Now let's look at the big, big picture. Yes, Josh Norman left the Panthers for another team. Does this change Carolina's hopes for, of returning to the Super Bowl? By no means. Panthers GM Dave Gettleman has put together, a roster, uh, put together a roster with the current players they have and also the new additions uh, that is just scream success. 
Um, and they also have the coaching staff in place to develop these players and make them even better. Panthers defense was stellar without Norman being a starter in 2013, and it will be stellar without Norman in 2016. Defense wins championships. The Broncos proved that in Super Bowl 50. The Panthers will reinforce that in Super Bowl 51. Thank you for your time. I gotta show the audience again. Oh, wait, did Matthew go to the bathroom?